<laughs> now we are checking the food situation because Thanksgiving is two weeks away. Two weeks and one day away, to be exact. Absolutely. Who's counting? But we're feeling a little thankful today. Yeah, we're kicking off this year's Thankful Thursday <laughs> cooking segments to help you plan this year's meal a day early. Terry Walters, <laughs> chef and author of the cookbook Nourish, is here to show us a delicious squash side dish. Mm. How are you? I'm great. How are you? So good to see nice you. To see you guys. Nice You're so you. peppy. I love that. Oh, well, it's early. Let's see how we do. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. We've got great. chocolate first thing oh, in the morning. I'm so excited. <laughs> chocolate. Is that what gets you going? Chocolate instead of coffee? It might just. So we're going to start today. We're going to make some delicata squash which looks like this if you've not ever seen it okay so um, now you know what to look for and we're going to just start with a little bit of coconut oil here and we're going to add in some fennel which looks like this little bowl I love fennel. here, oh. here. It's, 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 it, it, forgive me a licorice taste right a little bit a yeah. little bit of licorice a little bit of licorice and we're just going to saute these up till they're nice and soft and we're going to add some onion and is it true all the recipes are plant-based Plant-based, gluten-free, everything. That is Love wonderful. That. Yeah, and wow. hopefully we won't get the smoke detector going on. Wow. Now, while this is cooking, I've already sautéed the delicata squash. And what I love about delicata is you can eat this outside skin oh, as you well. Can. Yep. Okay. So I just cut it in half and sautéed it, got it going. So when this is nice and soft. And delicata squash, that's something you can find at any grocery store. Any grocery store, any farm stand. Mm. I like to look for the ones that have a little more orange than green. Okay. Okay, those are, tend to be a little sweeter. Mm. While this is cooking, I want to talk about the, the tart that I brought. Yes, yes please wonderful. do. Which is actually a date and walnut crust. Oh, and a dark chocolate cinnamon filling. And it's, again, oh all vegan, word. all gluten-free. If you want to cut into that when you finish this, I wouldn't be too upset. I oh, thank you. I thought you'd never ask. I thought you'd never ask either. Uh, now, what is so? This is flourless, obviously. It's you said flourless. It's, it's made with cashews. Cashews. Mm -hmm. Get out. So is it still as decadent and rich? I guess we'll find you're out. You're gonna soon. have to tell me. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna add my squash. That's so delicata. <laughs> it is so delicata. So delicata, I love it. What is one of your favorite Thanksgiving sides to a make? Orange. A little orange squeeze. I just, orange. you know, when I'm looking at my table, I want to make sure that I have all the colors. Oh, okay. So I love using squash like this, some Brussels sprouts, some nice cranberry chutney. And we'll put a little bit, excuse me, of mm -hmm. zest in here. A little orange zest. Oh, thank you, Del. I love it. Dessert before dinner. Should we try That's this a good now? Day. That's how life should be. I think you be. should. Ready? <laughs> Okay, and now we're gonna take this. I added some. Mm. This is so good. orange, and I'm gonna add some pomegranate seeds. Oh, this oh is, I love the pomegranate this, seeds in there. Miss Walters, this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this Thank is you, Mr. delicious. Haney. <laughs> and this, I'm gonna save for the end, but this is a little bit of pomegranate molasses, which might be something you, mm. you're not used to seeing at the store. Where do you find that? It's usually in with all the oils and vinegars. Really? And if you, or it might be with your sweeteners. It depends on the store. But if you can't find it, a little honey or a little little bit of balsamic vinegar will do the trick as well. All right. This is so wonderful. Yeah. What inspired you to cook with all fruits and vegetables? My own health and the health of my family. Mm. And you know what, when so a doctor once said to me, if you want to you know, really improve your health, I want you to um, cook more brown rice and kale. Really? And I was like, oy. Wow. <laughs> so we figured out how to make it taste good. And um, as I was doing that, people started paying attention, and then they asked me to teach them. And so now I've been teaching for 23 years. Wow. Really? Good for you. And That's remarkable. this is my fourth book. Isn't so that great? Amazing. You can see how thick this molasses is. We'll just give it a little mm. drizzle. That looks mm. so good. And a pinch of sea salt. And who's going to want to taste this after? Oh. <laughs> me. A little bit of some nice salt. And Terry, where can we get your book? It's on my website, terrywalters.net. Okay. And um, also on my website is a calendar. I'll be at all sorts of events, doing Great. book signings, including at um, Legitimus Brewery out in Canton, as well as Crafted down at Hartford Flavor Company. Mm. So a bunch of events coming up. And always on my website with free shipping. Did Wonderful. somebody teach you to cook, or did you just self-taught? This is a journey I have shared with my mom, so oh, I can wow. thank her for that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do you Time want for the squash? Shall we plate, or you want to just eat right here? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it, as long as my mom's not looking, or exactly, my grandmother. Right? From a little. So this is the fennel and the squash. I'm going to get a bite. This is the fennel oh. and the squash. Oh, this is so, so delicate. 
I'm sorry I'm using that joke over and over again. <laughs> oh, wow. This is delicious. Super, super easy. And mm. I just want to say, like, all sorts of variations on this. If you don't find the squash, you can do the exact same thing with sweet potatoes. Or you mm. could do it with rutabaga. Or... Brussels sprouts. Like it doesn't even have to be this color. Imagine the Brussels sprouts or just add them How in. So really is that? have fun mm. with it. Some and if you want veggies. a little sweeter, maybe add some sliced apple or pear. Oh, I love so that idea. So you can idea. do a lot with this. Oh, the fennel is wonderful. And the recipes so on good. your website so people will be able to access there. Terrific. It Thank certainly you so much. is. <laughs> Thank mm. you so much. Thank Carrie. you so much. You know you what guys? would go really good with this? What? Wine! <laughs> Marcy, take it away.